She edits to make me look bad. Sarah exposed Meg's dirty nature through a bunch of evidence on Suits set. Sarah recently posted a tribute to the Queen's passing. Sarah is really a queen and a goddess. Donna Paulson was quite the complex character on Suits, which made viewers fall in love with Sarah Rafferty as an actor even more. She's appeared in a bunch of other hit TV series like Law & Order, Charmed, CSI Miami and Bones etc. She loves the drama. Most recently, Rafferty joined Chicago Med portraying Dr. Pamela Blake. Nowadays, Rafferty said she's looking for opportunities that revolve around strong female characters. It's something that I do put my weight on. Representation matters, she said recently at a Comic Con event. I never want to be the woman behind the man. We want to see an independent evolution and to have more women at the table. I just thought it would be a healing journey for me to see a female character become more powerful. These words are like a slap in the face to Meghan, who always relies on men to get ahead in life. Tom Bauer's revenge highlights that Meghan told her PR to do some work for Sarah, but was pissed when they reached out to Sarah. The former actress's relationship with some of her Suits co-stars were allegedly troubled by the time she left the series in 2018. An argument had erupted over Sarah Rafferty, Bauer's book claims. Meghan had asked Laurie Sale, her merchandising agent, to consider representing Rafferty for commercial endorsement contracts. The two met and Sale was enthusiastic. Hearing the news, Meghan called and accused Sale of a conflict of interest. The alleged drama led to more accusations of Meghan being manipulative, a criticism which several Suits actors shared, but did not disclose to outsiders, according to Bauer. Meghan organised the PAPS in 2014 L Women in TV event, and Sarah didn't bring her to the show the following year. I think like Kate, she had a problem with Sarah Rafferty being at the top of the Suits cast, and considered her to be something of a rival. The fact that Sarah Rafferty is the most experienced, talented, didn't matter to Meghan, Sarah also had the best fashion on suits, but Sarah worked really hard to get to that point. These things didn't matter to Meghan because she saw her as an obstruction to get on top of. Meghan's blind envy is evident in her selfies with co-star Sarah Rafferty. Meghan has always been the one that took bad photos of female co-workers, as evidenced by the bad angles shots aimed at Sarah. There are even pictures of her brazenly photoshopping her waist to make it smaller, curving the door when taking pictures with Sarah, does she feel inferior to her co-stars that much? That photo op in particular made me squirm with embarrassment for her. She's actually improved the dress sense since she joined the royal family. Though nothing still fits. Sarah is four inches taller than Meghan. Sarah's longer body does better in the fashion world. Sarah has that long silhouette that looks lovely in trim fitting clothes. After reading Sarah's interview, I get the impression it was a working relationship for her and nothing more. She's been acting long enough to have encountered Meghan's kind and handled her well enough to do her job and avoid becoming the target. She isn't even trying to hide her animosity in pictures for anyone with eyes. It's clear she doesn't like a co-worker. From the tense face to the fake smile to the glaring eyes, Miss Sarah should have been sent far away from that woman. I think disturbed people who can't hold their masks for the night could kill cold-blooded and without an afterthought as long as it benefits them. Scary.